Hello, this is Tony Hiller from Visitech.ai. In this video, we're going to look at the climate of Columbus. More specifically, we're going to look at the climate of Columbus, Indiana, which was named after Christopher Columbus. Visitech was developed to work with just about any type of data, but climate data is particularly easy to understand. This is what the website currently looks like for subscribers. The interface will be changing somewhat in the not too distant future. We're going to get the temperature data for Columbus, Indiana by selecting Indiana and then selecting Columbus. Now on the left side of the screen, we have all of the 47,909 daily maximum temperature records in the United States Historical Climatology Network database for Columbus. And on the right side of the screen, we have a Google map of the 36 United States Historical Climatology Network stations in Indiana. I'm going to click on the graphs so that we can see exactly where Columbus is located. Now on the right side of the screen, you can see that there's a red dot for Columbus in southern Indiana. Let's take a closer look at where that thermometer is located. Map. You can see that the thermometer is located somewhere at a water treatment facility. Now let's use Google Street View to get a closer look. You can see that the thermometer is located in a very rural area. The hottest days at Columbus were July 22, 1901, when they reached 111 degrees. They also reached 111 degrees on July 24, 1934. On July 28, 1930, they reached 110 degrees. And they reached 110 once again on July 14, 1936. Their hottest temperature over the last decade was 100 degrees on July 6, 2022. It appears that prior to 1960, Columbus used to get hotter days. Now let's take a closer look at that. Group by year and count the number of days over 90. It's now pretty clear that prior to 1960, Columbus, Indiana got a lot more hot days. During 1936, they had 89 days over 90 degrees. By comparison, this year they only had 20 days over 90 degrees. Now let's look at the average weather for Columbus, Indiana. Group by day of year and calculate average highest and lowest. Now we have three graphs going from January 1st on the left to December 31st on the right. The top graph is the record maximum temperatures. The center graph is the average daily maximum temperature. And the bottom graph is the lowest daily maximum temperature recorded at Columbus, Indiana for each day of the year. You can see that the average daily maximum temperature for October 4th is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The record hottest weather around this time of year is 94 degrees. Now let's add into the graph the values for this year. Group by day of year and show values for the year 2025. The temperatures for this year are shown in red. You can see that there wasn't any unusually hot weather this summer, though they did have some unusually warm weather this spring. Now let's look at how the different years compared with each other at Columbus. Graph by year. Now we have the January 1st to December 31st temperatures graphed for Columbus, Indiana for each year since 1893. This is almost 50,000 data points plotted on this graph. You can see that July 1901 was a very hot month at Columbus. Now let's rank the years from warmest to coolest. Rank series. Now the warmest year is at the top and the coolest year is at the bottom. 
1920 shows up as the warmest year, but that's only because the date is incomplete. They don't have any data from January through April. The warmest complete year was 1921. The average daily maximum temperature at Columbus during 1921 was over 70 degrees, which is well above the average of 65 degrees. The second warmest year at Columbus was 1946, followed by 1938, followed by 1922, followed by 1934, followed by 1933. Now let's look at the longest stretch of days above 90 degrees at Columbus, Indiana. You can see that during July and August 1901, Columbus had 27 consecutive days over 90 degrees. Now let's take a look at precipitation instead of temperature. Let's zoom in on it so we can see it at a better scale. The rainiest day in Columbus was March 25, 1913, during the disastrous Easter week floods which were all over the country. The second rainiest day at Columbus was July 20, 1998, when they received over six inches of rain. Now let's take a look at the annual total. I'm going to get rid of the daily precipitation and reset the zoom. You can see that the average precipitation at Columbus is almost 42 inches of rain per year and that there was an upwards trend. During 2019, they had 60 inches of rain at Columbus. Recent years have been somewhat lower, though close to the long-term average. Now let's find out which year had the most days above 2 inches precipitation. You can see that during 1997 they had 6 days in which they received more than 2 inches of rain. In just a few minutes we've gotten a fairly good understanding of the weather trends at Columbus, Indiana. You can use Visitech to do much more detailed analysis, but this is a good starting point. And if you want to see the source data from NOAA which is being used, you just click on this link. Now you can see all of the temperature and precipitation records which NOAA has for Columbus, Indiana. This data could be pretty hard to work with, but at Visitech we made it really simple. Like I said earlier, you can use Visitech for just about any type of data you want. Right now subscriptions are only $20 a month, which is less than 10% of what our competition is charging. It won't stay that way for long, so we hope to see you soon at visitech.ai.